Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. Will and I, we just got back from the Hershey RV show. And in this video, we're sharing with you all the new and exciting class Bs and B pluses that were available. As we said, we searched through the whole RV show to compile this list and we know you're gonna love it. We're getting started in three, two, one. So next is going to be the Winnebago Solus, but not the Solus. This is actually what's called the Solus Pocket. So it is entry level Class B on the Ram platform chassis. But Will, once yeah. we go in here, you're going to see that it's very similar. Am I doing this one? Are you? Oh, uh, I, I can. Okay. You're going to see that this is very similar to the Thor Scope, as in there oh, is yes. no bathroom in here. Right. You know, it makes it so you can make it. This is called the pocket because it's so small that it fits in your pocket. <laughs> but it's really nice. It has like the little dinette, a nice right. big size bed. Little kitchen. Yep. Fridge right here. And I'm really digging this because, you know, what everybody wants is they do want small. They want it small so they can go to state and national parks and drive in the city. Right. And you know, the, the fact of the matter is you guys know class B bathrooms stink anyway. So it's like- Get rid of it, well just use the bathhouse. And it's one of the, yeah, exactly. You're always gonna be using the bathhouse and worst case scenario, you bring one of those porta potty toilets with right. you in case of an emergency. And yeah, the price is less than $100,000 MSRP. Wow. Which is gonna make this a super popular seller for the year 2022. And I think it's hitting a market. I mean, look how small it is. It is, yeah. It's hitting a market that people are truly looking for. And they're looking for the manufacturers to be delivering a product like this. Great, so newer Class B for 2022 is gonna be the Thor Scope and the Thor Rise. Now you guys seen me do a Thor Scope video earlier this year, but this is the all new Thor Rise. And I'm really digging this floor plan. They do have floor, two floor plans. This one's the 18M and they're both very small. The one rise, the 18T, doesn't have a bathroom, but this one does. I call this more of the mobile office. It's a very nice look, very small wheelbase with a huge bathroom in the rear. Keeping this small and simplistic, which will, do you know what keeping it small and simplistic means? Better price point. Better price point, 100,000%. And for the scopes, I believe the 18T, you do have the optional pop top for oh, another cool. sleeping area. Let's go check out the next Class B. So next up for the Class B, I didn't even know this coming into the show. Tiffin is making a Class B now. This is the all new Tiffin Cahaba. Very, very nice, small Mercedes 4x4. Look at the nice tires. It's a good looking. A class good B. looking. Nice running board right, with the all tip metal. In. Yep, yep. Uh, the off-road looking tires. Nice bike rack cargo tray area. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's uh, cool. And then you have that spare tire right there. You know, it has the roof mount as well. Very small, short Class B motorhome. And it's going to have Tiffin's quality. Now, the Cahaba is a river in Alabama. Oh, that's how it? they came up with the name. That's cool. Oh, little table action there. Nice. Is that a dishwasher? No, I think it's a fridge. Oh, okay. Little fridge right I was about to say. <laughs> uh, coming on in, you got the Mercedes cockpit area. Very nice. You got the wet bath here. Okay. Man, this is a small Class B motorhome. And then back here, you have this rear lounge office area that also converts into a bed area. And well, you are right, that is the fridge. Okay, cool. But again, in the Class B market, it's not about, I I, I almost really wanna rebrand Class Bs. They're not RVs, they're not recreational vehicles, they're, they're camper vans. They're not, you're not, if you're out on the road for 21 days, you're not in here for 21 days, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're sometimes going to a hotel or freshening up at a friend's house. So this is nice because it's a nice small, mobile office kitchen area with a restroom. Let's take a look at the next Class B. So next, what's really new and exciting is that they actually have Coachman Beyonds for people to see here at the show. 
if you guys have been looking at the class b on the ford transit no dealerships have had these i mean my friend you guys all know becky b from the show she has like 20 of these on order for customers and they've been having a lot of problems with getting the ford transit chassis so to have these chassis is really really nice well just to have it here at the show is really really awesome to see you know now this isn't a new floor plan this is their traditional floor plan but again since um since i went with to general i haven't even seen one of these in person because whenever there is one or two they are already pre-sold so to see this here at the show is very new and exciting and the way the new chassis looks is really great as well uh these are the Be beyonds with the li3 and just the way the chassis looks it looks really good and this is a awesome new and exciting class b for 2022 so next is the 2020 thor sanctuary and thor tranquility now thor did make a press statement saying that they were releasing this this year at the hershey show but as you guys have seen we've done a thor sanctuary video already and so it's new but not the newest uh we do have the nice off-road tires nice storage doors and everything big sliding door i mean and this is made to compete with the winnebago revel and uh just that off-road market when it comes to class b's and also if you guys want to see the full reviews of this uh, i will have them down in the description below but a little seating area right here and then this one has the bed set up right there and i love what they did there they removed that so it's good for storage you still got to climb up on the bed but it's very very nice and with the mercedes chassis this is a very nice touch and it's going to be a great ride and it's perfect for off-roading and hitting those tight state national parks let's take a look at the next one great so the next class b is going to be the all new recon <laughs> 4x4 by pleasure way with me it's mr marshall you thank doing? you so much for being on the show thank you tell us a little bit about this brand new product well it's uh uh, Springer based uh, chassis, 2500 series chassis with the 144 inch wheelbase. Okay. And it comes in four wheel drive. Perfect. So it's the first time Pleasureway's ever introduced anything in four wheel drive. We've been asked for 35 years. Yep. <laughs> and on our 36th year, we finally decided to introduce it. I love it because the Winnebago Revel has been kicking butt. Yes. But now you guys, um, Tiffin, you know Tiffin has a class B now. Yes, sir. Okay, yep. Tiffin, uh, Thor, they're all coming out to compete with that Winnebago Rebel and it's just so cool and it's a segment of the market that so many people want. I love the tires, yeah. I love those black Rhino Look rims and these are the tires, the Toyo Open Country yep. that I literally have on my truck yep. and so it, it's one of those things like if I put it on my truck guys, you, you want it on class B, the Toyo <laughs> tires. What else is unique about this? I love this? that. Um Oh, the running board. Well. Yeah, yeah, makes it real easy to get in and out of. Yeah. Uh, but what we kind of done is a combination between the Rebel and the Storytel. Nice. Oh. So front, we kind of have the Rebel bathroom in the front. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. right behind the two driver and passenger seats here, you'll have a little lagoon table. And then uh, the Rebel bathroom is very similar, where you're going to have the adjustable shelves where you yes, can sir. pull them in or out. So you could use this as a hanging locker, you could use this as a shower, or you can use this obviously for your five gallon cassette toilet. Nice. Uh, we've also run a heat duct inside there. So for the people going skiing or surfing, hanging wetsuits, hanging wet clothing, you could use this kind of like a drying room for you as well. Perfect, okay. I love it. And then back here. And then in the back, just like the Storyteller, we use the Murphy beds. However, instead of using 54 inch doubles, we used 72 inch uh, twins. So when this bad boy drops down, you're gonna notice on this guy here, we're gonna have a 72 inch bed in this direction. Nice. 72 inch bed here. So now it's 70 inches wide by 72 inches long. You're not crawling over each other. I love how they flip up and it's like a big garage area. And Will, Yeah. look, well, you can't you look. Can yeah. No, no, yeah, come around here. But look at this workstation. You need kitchen counter? I got kitchen counter. You can even oh. set up a chair there. I work on my bike. I That's need to so my true. binders. You know, I need to work on anything that I need to work on. This material is very sturdy, very strong, and uh, very simple to put up and down. To and put it into the bed, what you're going to end up doing on this guy here, we have these cool little straps uh, that are going to come down right here. Little notch. Yep. Little notch. Yes, sir. It's just going to fit in. Oh, for oh. the center support. And when that 
folds down, that's yep. what's going to hold the bed up. There's one for the front, one for the rear. I love this it. This will easily hold two adults, no problem. I that's love it. Cool. Because these beds are six foot in length, everyone else 54 inches in length. Okay. We're going to have almost two feet of extra storage underneath the cab for you and a lot more room for the larger bikes if you don't want to disassemble them to put them away. I love it. Saving time's a great thing, right? Saving time and saving money. And to load up the I rear, know. I love that. The step? Yep. Yeah, that is really cool. Very awesome feature, a very cool pleasure way. Marshall, I love your energy. You're gonna get fired up <laughs> for the rest of the day. Yeah. And like anybody else, you got Pleasure Ways Freedom Warranty. It's five years, 60,000 miles compared to the industry standard of one to two years. I love it. So make sure you guys come down here to the Pleasure Way display. Come see Marshall, I'm here to see you. Yep, thank you so much. Let's go check out the next Class B. Take so Marshall's grabbing me a business card and I saw this unit and this might not be new. Is this new or no? We've had this introduced 2019. Okay, but still, I haven't seen a Class B like this. So I wanna take a look at this one because it's new to the program. Ram chassis. 1500 Ram chassis, but only 17 nice feet, tires. nine inches. Yeah. Still got the Rhino wheels yeah. and tires. A little well, more beefy uh, running board here right. for you. Oh, no restroom in here. Correct. But, this but, would be a porta potty, is what you would use but, in this particular yeah, look vehicle. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I yeah. have. Is this popular or medium? Or it's very popular. At 17 I love feet, nine this. inches, anybody can drive this. But like, you can't chill in a B van like right. this. The roof's a little low for somebody like Will. Okay. Even for me, it's low. Yeah. But again, when the pop tops up, I mean. This is very nice. It's kind of, you know, I, I've been seeing the industry turn to like day cruisers and that's definitely yeah. what this is. This is better than a tank. This is for that state national park. Oh yeah. And even so, even with no bathroom, you have a little cassette toilet, you take care of business. Yep. You got a dance floor Seat in here. Seatbelts four. I mean, this is great for going to soccer events, swim yep. tournaments, yep. water polo tournaments. This is an everyday vehicle that turns into a weekend getaway van. Right. Wow, and you can buy it for less than a hundred grand. Uh oh. Very, very nice. That's crazy. Cool. Cool, thanks so much. Let's take a look at the next Class B. Great, so before we show you the next Class B, I do wanna take a quick second to thank the sponsor, My Waggle. My Waggle is an RV pet digital thermostat, and it's a company that we truly love and believe in. It tells you the heat index, the temperature, and if you lose power in your RV. This is super important if you sometimes leave your pets unattended with. Normally it's 40% off from now till the end of the month. It is 50% off. Also, at the end of this video, we have an actual customer testimonial from the Hershey RV show. Thank you so much to My Waggle for sponsoring this video. Let's take a look at the next Class B motorhome. Great, so next up for Class B's is a newer manufacturer called Gretsch RV, not Grinch RV. Yes. And with me is Jeff. And you are? I'm the deal sales manager for Gretsch RV. Perfect, perfect. So tell, a little, tell us a little bit about Gretsch RV. Gretsch RV actually is a new company for 2020. Okay. Um, we came out of the ground transportation business building luxury uh, buses. Uh, and this year we've uh, entered the Class B market with this um, beautiful Class B. It's beautiful. Built on the Sprinter 3500. Awesome. Extended. Where are you guys built out of? We're, we're building them out of our headquarters in Riverside, California. Nice. And we're actually manufacturing them in Mexicali, Mexico. Nice, very cool. So not everything needs to be made in Indiana. And something that I like what you guys do, you guys don't individually drive these to dealerships, correct? Correct, we move them two at a time on a flat boy. Nice, that way they do have low miles and you're the first one to drive it, essentially. So why'd you guys start making Class B motorhomes? Well, as nice you know, the fridge. ground transportation business halt came to a halt when the pandemic came. Oh, because people aren't taking public transportation as much. Correct. And we actually, uh, we've actually built, uh, in 2008, we built one of the, some of the first Sprinter RVs, but as everyone knows, in 2008, the RV business was yeah. not so, a business to get into. So the first time you joined the RV business at the wrong time, now you've joined the RV business at the perfect time. Correct, correct. Got nice cabinetry solid surface countertops i think what's important is we actually since we build luxury buses we build these rvs to department of transportation standards that that is huge so we everything in this coach is top notch from stainless steel if, if we could put this coach in the air it'd be just as beautiful underneath as it is inside here i love it i love it yeah you you guys were telling we're gonna have a more in-depth review with the construction and everything i know they want me to come out to the factory and, and we're gonna work on that but yes, I heard the construction on the outside is built superior. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys check out their website, GretschRV.com. We'll link it down.
it down below. Let's check out another Class B. So just like Integra, there's not too many new features when it comes to the Jayco Motorhome division. Again, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Where Integra had the Accolade XL, you can also get the Seneca Prestige. But what is still relatively new, and a lot of people don't know, is Jayco did enter the Class B market. That is the four-seater 20A. You guys saw that on the show maybe two weeks ago. And so this is the 20T, which is a more traditional Class B floor plan, which is very, very nice. You know, and what's really nice about these Ram platform chassis is the price point. You know, when you're looking at Class Bs, even though they're small, they are expensive. They are, that's for sure. Nice little bathroom back here. Just overall, a great Class B. And the more Class Bs that enter the market, the more that's gonna help get the price down. The higher the supply goes, the lower the demand goes. Right. But that's it. Those are all the new Class B motor. Those are all the new and exciting Class B motorhomes for 2022. So next up is the Forest River Sunseeker model 2400T. Now the Sunsea girl looks absolutely beautiful. This is truly, truly one of my favorite paint jobs. The white on the silver looks fantastic. And just like the FR3 Class A motorhome, that arrow right. design I think looks sick. Now, this floor plan has been out for a little bit, but I believe it's its first Hershey show that it's coming to. Okay. Tell me what you think. Nice Mercedes chassis. Mm-hmm. Bunk, bunk over, over the, the cab. cab yes sir decent sized kitchen for the size whoa oh man um theater seating and a regular couch interesting yes sir. murphy bed living area i like the four seating areas do you, you like yep. that better yep. than having a dinette yep personally nice toilet placement and shower i would have to dis I, I would have to disagree with the toilet placement if you look in it again. You think it's a bad it's placement? It's very close to the sink. True, you're but right. Again, for a smaller motor home, yeah. it is a good size bathroom. And just a good size, very big, spacious Class B Plus motor home. Let's take a look at the next one. All right. Great, so next up in the B Plus category is the one that you guys have been requesting a lot. It's the Phoenix Cruiser. Now, there's nothing, there's no new floor plans, but we haven't had a Phoenix Cruiser on the show, and with me is Tina from Phoenix Cruiser. How are you? Hi, everybody. I'm good. How are you? Great. So tell us just a little bit about Phoenix Cruiser, and you did say there is some newer interior selection, yeah. so we'll check that out on the inside. Okay. So um, first off, for those of you who don't know, Phoenix USA RV has been in business 25 years. This okay. year is our anniversary, and the Phoenix Cruiser has been our... Uh, basically our mainstay during all that time and so we've we've had a pretty solid um, number of years of doing business and those that get to know us really enjoy our they exterior do. profile they do yes the drivability of it yep I, I like the nice profile no bunk over the cab nice smooth yep. sides full body paint it looks super nice yep. and you're saying this is the 2552 and it's your most popular seller yep the 2552 is pretty much 50 percent of our business nice the dual twin bed um, but you get the option for what we call the power twins where you can either extend one or both and they would meet in the middle for a nice large sleeping area i love that can we check out the yes, inside absolutely Come perfect ahead. and before we do i do want to mention i haven't seen a motorhome do storage like this that is very nice so what's really handy about this is you have obviously you've got the two levels you have the shelf here yep and you've got the drawer that slides in and out uh -huh. really convenient but if you have taller stuff then you can raise this up i love that a little clip and then you can put your taller stuff in there and close it. i love that um these slides have a 200 pound weight capacity i love that and for me i have my baby is a golden retriever and so i could put all her toys and outdoor stuff and wet accessories in here because of this and then fold it all up so it's really i'm calling it pet friendly exactly nice pet friendly. yes okay. and then the inside what's really unique guys what i noticed right off the bat it's hot here at the hershey rv show and so in here this is a small b plus but you guys put two ac units in why'd you do that well for a number of reasons one um they're they're 
they're not that quiet. Okay. <laughs> um, you may not be picking up on it in the video, but uh, we don't have ducted air, so we have the ceiling mount ACs. Got it. They're very efficient. Yep. Um, but so you have the two ACs, so you've got the longer coach. So in the hotter weather, you really do need both of them. But mm -hmm. you also have the flexibility that, let's say during the day and you're in your living space, you can shut off the front, keep it a little quieter yep. in the front. In the evening, maybe you want to run the front and keep the one in the back off. You just have some options. And let me tell you, Tino's saying they're loud. They're not loud, folks. I mean, this is how loud as they are. And even if they were loud, I'd rather have cold and loud than Absolutely. hot and quiet. Yeah. But this is an awesome looking unit, guys. I love this. So many people ask for the twin beds. Um, this is a very nice rear bathroom back here and everything. Where is Phoenix made? So we're in Elkhart, Indiana. Okay, you are. Perfect. Yeah, so pretty much where nearly most all RVs are made. And, uh, and we, in fact, we just moved into a new facility, a larger facility. So even though we're, we're a limited production manufacturer, we are still growing a little bit. I love it. And. Uh, space yeah and you can tell the quality and the woodwork in here is super nice and you were saying the interior was different for this year yeah so we have some we've added some additional options okay so we still have the classic decors that we've offered for a few years so they're still available um, but we've got four additional combinations that will be available and are now listed on our website and we have a couple units here that show them as well this is one of the classic decor colors that we have um, all of our door door fronts are solid wood. Yep. Um, our furniture is custom made, genuine leather. Um, in the Phoenix Cruiser, it's all genuine leather. Uh, custom uh, CAD seats, so your driver and passenger seat um, are custom made for this coach, and probably one of the most wow. rides that you'll have. Seriously, and then they got the new Ford dash and everything. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Tina, for showing this this uh, unit. Thank do you guys have a Facebook or a website or a YouTube or anything? We do. You can go to uh, phoenixusarv.com and check us out. Perfect. Yeah. I do have a link below. Now, while I was exiting, I did see something that I really love. Just like a B-van, you have this uh, sliding... What do you call this? Uh, our retractable yeah. screen door. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That way you can keep this door open and uh, not let the bugs in. So to wrap up the B+, Plus, you know we're going to end with the all-new Winnebago Echo. Now, this did come out during the Tampa RV show, but nobody has been able to see one other than the RV shows. And they're just now hitting dealership lots. So as you can tell, uh, they did do a new color change with the green design. It was the orange stripe and the orange K. I can see that. Now it's a, a little green. It is the Ford Transit chassis, all-wheel drive. And then you have an option of a pop top. This one actually does have the pop top, which it's really, really cool. And even if, check this out. And even if you're not using this as the pop top, it's still with it being open, it feels a lot more spacious sure. in here. Yeah. Now you do have the four seaters. I love these styles of seats with the seat belts. Okay. And then coming on down here, once you're in here, you do have the beds, okay, set up. And then check out this bathroom. Bathroom right here. And then what we missed last time, Will. Yes. Show everybody. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how it works. Well, hang on a second. So this is what we missed, missed last time oh. when we did the review. It, and so the bathroom actually converts into a wet bath. That's cool. It is cool. And it's new and exciting. And it's what's new for 2022. Great. So those were all the new and exciting class B and B plus motorhomes for 2022. As you guys can see, this is one of the fastest growing categories in the RV market. And I can't wait to share more of them with you guys. Do us a favor, leave down in the comments below. Let us know which class B was your favorite and which one was your least favorite. Also again, big shout out to Waggle, my Waggle, 50% off once you use our code or just go to their website, mywaggle.com and use promo code MAT50. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and make sure if you have a pet, you check out this customer testimonial. Hey everyone, we are here at the Hershey RV show and a fan customer friend was walking by and she said that she has a mywaggle and it worked great. And I was like, well, what do you mean it worked great? It's good that it works great. 
but you said it different. She said it worked great. So customer testimonial time, tell us the story. I left the RV to go food shopping. I got the alert that the power went out and it ended up being out for hours and I was able to go back and get my dogs. Nice, and where were you? I was in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Okay, and what was the temperature at the time? About 78. Okay, okay. So, you know, with sunshine, listen, even though it's 78 degrees, you guys see me do these RV reviews and it can get hot in the camper. And yes, everything probably would have been okay, but if you were in Las Vegas, Nevada, or Florida in the summer, or if you were in Massachusetts in the winter, it definitely could have gone south quick. Absolutely, we full time, so we look forward to it in the winter as well. Nice, nice, you full time? We do. What, what type of RV do you have? We have a Cedar Creek 38 EBS. Nice, nice, and so then what did you do after you got the notification? I went back and I just brought them in the car with me and ran my errands. And how long was the campground out of power for? Uh, probably a good six to seven hours. There you go. Even though she was at a campground and even though she was hooked up to power, there's things that can still always go wrong that we have no control over. Thank you so much for telling us. You're welcome. And thanks for showing us the product. Awesome.